Hey everyone, Jaren here from Resource Magazine, and I'm joined today by Antoine from a company called Lily. And the Lily camera, well actually, you know I'm going to let you explain to me what the Lily camera is. Antoine. Yes, thanks for having me here. So the Lily camera is the first truly um, flying camera, true flying camera. Why is it a true flying camera? Because it's all integrated. The camera is built in and it's super easy to use. All you have to do is throw it in the air and let Lily do the rest. Lily will follow you, know where you are, and create amazing content on the fly. So what makes this different than, say, uh, any of the Phantoms or 3DR or any of the other drones that you're seeing out there is this one actually is just going to follow me, very little effort on my part. It's just I'm toss it and then I, I just hands off, right? Yes, so there's two things. One is that you have nothing to do except wearing this tracking device. So you keep the tracking device with you, put it in your pocket, and then throw it in the air, and then you're done. The second thing is that the, the, the shots are actually really cool. The video is really nice, it's 1080p, 60 FPS, 720p, 120, so you can do really nice slow-mo videos. And Lily will know where to fly, where to position itself to create the best content for you. So let's be clear on a couple things on this. This is the demo unit they've got. This is not yep. the one that their, their final thing is going to be. So this is slightly larger, and the antenna won't be there on the final either. Yep. Um, but the unit will be waterproof, right? And so in this, and I got a little wrist thing you can put this mm -hmm. into to be waterproof Yeah, well. so you can throw it in water and it will take off from the water. You can go surfing with it, you can fall, it can go in the water, no problem at all. So what are some of the things, I think you mentioned earlier, like if I go up in the air, it'll automatically go in slow-mo. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? So I, I even, I'm, I'm curious, I don't yeah, know Yeah, so the about tracking that. device has sensors that know how you're moving. So if you're in the air, for example, Lily will know, and we'll be able to detect that movement and do slow-mo right there for this specific moment. One cool app, for example, is a snowboarding jump. You're about to jump and Lily captures the moment when you're in the air and slow-mos that specific two or three seconds of the video. So if I'm shooting at say like 1080, the mm -hmm. 1080, 24 yep. or whatever, yep. will it then jump to 720 to get to the slow motion or how will it change that? So if you set up the smart mode, Lily will go in 720p automatically. Okay. And so then it will be in this smart slow-mo mode Got you. and so be able to do this automatically. Yeah. That's cool. And then so the video footage that comes straight out of it is going to be done. I'm not going to touch or anything. It'll go to slow-mo for a portion and then go back to real time. Exactly. That's cool. So this is a really uh, consumer friendly but has a lot of other implications as well like I, even though I shoot professionally this still seems really cool for me I yeah. could totally see myself using this yeah I mean there's a lot of use cases uh, a lot of ways you could use Lily and we're really excited to sh give this to people and see how they're using it okay. we think there's a lot of use cases in sports and outdoors activities in general you can see yourself playing golf tennis simple sports like this that become really interesting with Lily but there's also things like journalism or tourism that can really be amazing with Lily so, what separates this from some of the other, the other competitors out there uh, that also are trying to do this whole follow thing? What makes this thing special? Definitely. So, one core thing is that by having the camera built in, we're able to do computer vision. And the result is that you can get shots much closer to you. You don't have to be 50 feet away from... Um, I mean, Lily doesn't have to fly 50 feet away from you to keep you in the frame. It can, get, it can get much closer, 10, 20 feet. And that's really where you get the really magical shot, the GoPro shot, you know, the action camera shot. And that also has an audio feature too that's kind of yes. cool, right? So the tracking device, this little device here, records sound. And so you can have it with you and we literally syncs the sound with the video stream and put it all together in one video. Now that is cool because I don't know if any of you have flown a drone before, but those things are loud. Like that, that yeah. kind of comical wedding video yeah. that uh, <laughs> DJI did for their, their new Phantom where the guy's like flying it in the church is completely illogical. You would never do that yeah. um, because they're noisy. But this is a nice way as a kind of to fight that. It's the first time you really get an immersive aerial footage. Video plus sound, you're in the scene with the sound. That's cool. really different. Um, all right, so let's, it's, it's, uh, it's a little breezy out here, so let's see how this thing yeah. handles, uh, handles a little bit of wind. Let's check it out. So for this demo, I'll be using this ProType uh, version of the tracking device, and as you can see, there's no buttons on it. So I'll be using my phone to, to feature <laughs> some It's also much larger, I think, is the first is thing. Larger, yeah. In production, of course, this will right. be reduced to that size. Cool. And everything I'm going to be doing from my phone here, you will be able to do from the tracking device. So you don't really need your phone while using Lily. So I'll take the tracking device. Yep. I'll hold that onto that for you. So one way to take off Lily is from your hand. You can also throw it in the air, but we'll try to take off from, from your hand just okay. for this demo. So should I hold it or do you want to hold it? Um, you want to try? Okay, yeah, I mean, I haven't done that yet. Okay. So if I just hold it like this. Hold it like this and just let it fly away. And so now it's in hold mode, where it's actually just hovering in place, not tracking anything, just stabilized. 
And now let's try watch me mode. Where it's actually keeping, so it's staying in one place, hovering in place, and keeping me in the frame. Okay. So you can see now, Lily is tracking me and keeping me in the frame while staying in place. Yeah, it's slowly rotating yep. to keep, well, that's cool. It's like a, virtual, a tripod you can place anywhere in space and it always keeps you in the frame. So you can see, very smooth, very stable. Uh, let's try follow me. Yeah. There you go. Now it's following me. And always keeping me in the frame. I noticed it's fighting the wind pretty well. Extremely well, yeah. It's 1.3 kilograms. We designed it to be really rugged and fly very well in the wind. Okay. Can you make it uh, circle around us? Yeah. Well, so let's stay in one place and let's see if, what it does if it goes Let's around. try that. So, let's try the spiral shot. Okay. So it goes in position and then starts this loop around us. This is a shot you cannot get manually. Yeah, I like this better because I can hear it less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it keeps us in the frame. You can so imagine this. How does it determine the radius? So you can set that yourself. Um, you can set beha default behavior after takeoff. So let's go back to hold mode. Mm -hmm. And let's try a drony. Do you know what a drony is? Yes, let's I do, unfortunately. <laughs> let's try. OK, so let me just put it back up a little bit. So you won't be able to manually control Lily, but you can change its position, frame your shot, do these kind of things uh, from the tracking device. So, so basically, we're relying on your guys' your tech to, to, for it to know all. exactly what to do in certain situations. Exactly. So let's try a drony. This is kind of a, a dumb proof. Yep. Is it going to take a picture of us? And you can see it's handling wind. It's going to fly away and keep, take a video of us. There you go. A nice fly away where you can see the world behind us. <laughs> and, and you say, what's the range on this thing? So it's five to 100 feet. So straight up, across, anywhere? Yep. Gotcha. Exactly. But the best shots are usually in the 20, 30 feet uh, region. And it has a 20 minute flight time? Yep. Would you like to land it? You want to grab it? Yeah. So, do I have to hold the device here? No, you just yeah. tap it at the bottom when it lands. Okay, now it's gonna land. Whoop. <laughs> tap it. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's it. Turned very, itself off. Very easy to land, very easy to take off, very fast. So, that would normally go better, like say if I'm holding the device, it would yes. come find me Definitely. and land. In so, my you hand. would long gotcha. press the a button on the device, it will come above you, mm -hmm. and then you would long press again and it would land. And then another way to take this off is just to like, Huck it off a bridge yeah. and it'll just go. You just throw it in the air. Yeah. Okay. How do you? Uh, will there be a battery meter on this somewhere? How will it tell me? So there's a there's some minutes of flight time. The battery is built in, and it will give you notification if it's about to run out. How does power. it do that? Does it like send a so message? So this has this? a vibration motor actually. So it will vibrate, and then if you don't respond, it will send you a notification on your phone. If you still don't respond, it will hover in place and smoothly land when there's no battery. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Sweet. Uh, so, do you guys have an anticipated price point you're trying to hit on this thing? Yes, yeah, so we're launching a pre-sales campaign on May 12, and it's going to be at $499 instead of $999 in retail. And we're shipping in February 2016. So $499, really good price. We want to really engage our early community and people who are excited about this product. Well, cool. Well, this has a lot of implications, I think, for what we could end up doing with aerial footage, and it'll make it a lot more... Uh dare I say, personal. And then I don't have to spend so much time thinking about what I'm shooting. I can exactly. just shoot. Very personal, easy, and you get amazing footage. Well, thank you very much for showing this to me, guys. This is, again, the Lily camera. Their uh, website is like lily.camera, right? Yes. That's pretty easy to remember. Lily.camera. Um, for more information on this and any other drones, cameras, and video stuff, make sure you keep it locked to resourcemagonline.com. Thank you, guys.